Welcome back to Folody. In today's video, we have some exciting royal news to cover. We'll be talking about Zara Tyndall's family outing, Princess Sophia's new adventure, and Prince Harry's candid revelations about his time in the military. So, stay tuned for all the details. Let's kick things off with some equestrian excitement. Zara Tyndall, King Charles's niece and a silver medal winning Olympic equestrian, recently participated in the Wellington International Horse Trials in Hampshire. She was joined by her husband, Mike Tyndall, and their adorable kids Mia, Lena, and Lucas. It seems like Lucas, at just two years old, might be following in his parents' athletic footsteps. He was seen perched on his dad's shoulders, showing a keen interest in the horse trials. And did you know that this event holds a special place in Zara's family history? Her mother, Princess Anne, is often seen on the sidelines, as this festival is truly a family affair. It's even hosted on Princess Anne's Gloucestershire estate, and her son, Peter Phillips, plays a major role in organizing it. Zara's love for horses runs deep in the royal family, and it's a passion that she's passed down to her children. She spoke to people about the special bond between riders and their horses. Now, let's move on to the next royal story. Princess Sophia of Spain, the younger daughter of Queen Letizia and King Felipe, is embarking on an exciting new journey. Sophia, who is 16, has enrolled in the International Baccalaureate Program at UWC Atlantic College in Wales. This move officially makes her parents empty nesters, as her elder sister, Princess Leonor, is currently training with the Spanish Armed Forces. UWC Atlantic College, often nicknamed Hippie Hogwarts, is no stranger to royal attendees. Princess Elizabeth of Belgium, King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands, and Princess Raya bint Al Hussein of Jordan have all studied there. And speaking of Princess Leonor, she's on her own unique path, training to become Spain's first queen regnant since Queen Isabella II. Her military training is a significant step towards her future role. Lastly, we have some heartfelt revelations from Prince Harry. In his Netflix docuseries Heart of Invictus, he opens up about his experiences in the military and the emotional journey that followed. Prince Harry shares how his time in Afghanistan triggered deep-seated trauma related to the loss of his mother, Princess Diana. He also discusses the importance of seeking help and support for mental health struggles, emphasizing the need for a support network. This docuseries follows wounded, sick, and injured servicemen and women from around the world, a cause close to Prince Harry's heart as he founded the Invictus Games. Prince Harry's openness about his own mental health struggles is part of his journey to turn pain into purpose, as he mentioned in his recent memoir, Spare. And there you have it, three intriguing royal stories in one video. From equestrian adventures to royal education and mental health advocacy, the royals continue to make headlines. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all things royal here on Folody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.